Hello, hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. Today's video is a bit of a banger. I dropped 97 kills with this Type 100 class app, and in my opinion, um, this is about the this is probably the best class app I have found for it so far. Um, but before we get into what exactly the attachments are on this gun, I just wanted to say um, what's coming up on the channel. So I've got some more GBs coming up. Um, hopefully some more class setups. I've been playing around with the Vault quite a bit. Um, we actually made a team rage quit in the second game of Game Battle, so you guys will be seeing that. Um, yeah, I know I know. last game I posted was Eagles Nest, so you might find it a bit boring, but you know what? I thought you guys... I don't want you to don't want it to be too long before you, stuff, you I was able to show you and you know display this absolute nuts nuts class I've got for you for this uh, for this Type 100. The gameplay itself um, is a bit of a slow start simply due to the fact that you know I think it was one of my first games on, but I dropped 97 kills as I say to make sure you guys stay to the end. I, unfortunately, I don't drop a V2 or anything like that, um, but it is uh, is high octane gameplay to say the least. To be fair, I probably did choke a couple of V2s during this. Um, which is a bit of a shame because it was the perfect lobby for it. Um, and as I say, I've been dying a few times since it was 50 now. I think if I you know, just played my life a bit more up to this point, things would be good. But let's talk about what you're actually here for, the class setup. So I've got to admit, I don't have this completely fully ranked up. Um, I think at this the point of recording, I'm level 59. So I've pretty much got most of the attachments on uh, that, I, that I think I'd need. I mean, I've had a look at future attachments coming up and I probably wouldn't put them on even if I did unlock them. Um, so uh, yeah, let's 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 go through with it. So we're going to start off with the M1929 silencer as the uh, the muzzle, simply due to the fact that it keeps you off the radar, um, as well as increasing your accuracy. It does um, it does reduce your aim down sight time, or it increases your aim down sight time, reduces your aim down sight speed. Um, but this has got a pretty fast ADS, as you can tell. Anyways, this is not too much of a problem. Moving right, I don't actually have a barrel on. Most of the barrels have got too many negatives to be able to warrant putting them on um which is exactly why i don't put on a lot of mistakes i see people making to put in every attachment on that they can when in fact it's probably better off they do not do that um so yeah that's essentially why i don't have a barrel on just because it has you know too many negative effects i've got the slate reflector as the iron sight or well, not the iron sight the reticle but obviously that's completely up to you what you guys want to choose this is just for me the, the most clean looking one i've, I've found um Moving on to the stock, I actually have the Shireishi T100, um, which increases your aim sight speed, so counters the, the effect of the silence we've got on, uh, and helps you reduce the horizontal recoil control, which means you can just beam at a range a little bit more with this. It's a little bit more versatile. It does decrease your movement speed and your hipfire accuracy, but you're not going to be hipfire in this quite a lot. Um, with regards to movement speed, it's already fast enough anyway, so it's not really too much of an issue with regards to that. Um, moving on, proficiency. Now, I used to think that vital was a thing to have because it's made this gun an absolute two bullet kill with the uh, magazine I have attached. However, currently as it stands, vital does not work or has no effect when paired with a larger caliber round. So if you've got a round which does more damage or more bullet velocity, higher damage range, things like that, vital is just going to be none and void. So you might as well use something else. So in this case, I have gung ho, which completely reduces the sprint out, well, sprint to fire time um, as long as you fire before you ADS. Um, that's something that is key. You can fire while sprinting, essentially, so you can just zoom around the map just holding the right trigger if you wanted to. Uh, not that I'd advise that. Finally, I have a uh, surplus, on, which basically just means that you get 20% extra XP for your guns uh, when you get kills, essentially. So um, it's just you know better for leveling up your gun if you haven't got it leveled up already. However, if you do already have it leveled up, I'd recommend either Quick, which is uh, good for your sprint. Sprint speed means you can just zoom around the map or I would recommend using fully loaded just so that you don't run out of ammo like I do most of my games. Um, I'm done piecing up by the way on the gameplay if you guys, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, for the rear grip I have the Pine Tar Grip. This uh, increase, well, reduces your aim, uh, uh, hit fire spread so you're still able to hit fire if you need to. Um, and it also increases your recall control which is absolutely a bonus because it means you can map people even further. Again, the negative to this is it reduces your aim on sight speed, but as I say, this is quick enough for it not to be a problem, um, as you guys can see in the gameplay. Magazine. Now, this is the important bit. I have the Russian Short 30 round mag. Um, the reason for this is that it increases the bullet velocity and range, which means you can you know, beam a bit further than you would without it. Uh, it increases the bullet penetration, so you'll be able to shoot through walls if you see those name tags, and it increases the damage. It makes, uh, you know, 
increases damage quite a lot, I must add. However, there are several negatives, um, but including the uh, negative recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, fire rate, and ADS speed. But as you can see, it really, realistically doesn't affect it negatively that much. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, yeah, this is exactly, this is the, you might have to, you know, pull down on the joystick a little bit just to reduce your um, vertical recoil, but we've got an attachment that already helps with the horizontal recoil, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. Ammo type, I would recommend having lengthened on it, always lengthen. It make if you feel like you maybe your bullets aren't hitting or there's a lack of hit reg, it's probably because you don't have lengthened on. It increases the bullet velocity um, by 30%, so it goes from a 450 millisecond bullet velocity uh, to a nearly 600, which is absolutely nuts. And so, yeah, lengthen is the ammo type you do need when you are playing with this gun. The end of battle I'm going to be using is the SG-98 Compact. You can play around with this sort of attachment. Um, it's one of the ones which, you know, isn't so crucial to have exactly how I say it is. However, I do feel like an aim walking movement speed, you know, keep that straight for speed high is uh, going to be best, beneficial in you winning those gunfights. So, as a summary, uh, I'm just going to go quickly go through it again. The M1928 silencer, slate reflector optic, no barrel, the Shireishi T100 stock, gun hope efficiency, um, quick kit, pine tar rear grip, 30 ruction short, 30 round magazine, uh, lengthened ammo type, and the SG98 compact. Give this class set a go um, and let me know how you guys get on. As I say, it's quite a nice change from the MP40, which tends to be what people mostly use. Um, and as you can see, it absolutely slaps with this class setup. So that's going to be me. I'm probably going to leave you with the rest of the video, um, you know, just to enjoy the game. As I say, I jumped 97 limbs. Um, I think barely more than 20 kills, so I absolutely go off. This boosted the KD up a little bit. Um, yeah, let me know how you're getting on. Give this class up a try and see how you get on. What is your favourite SMG? If you guys are still watching, what's your favourite SMG to use? For me, it's going to be either this or the MP40. See, the MP40 mainly because when I jump on GBs, um, I know I know how it works. I know the recoil, uh, so on and so forth. But this, for me, is a close second. Um, it's just super fun to use. Really mobile, and you can beam at range with it. Although I just fluff my shots heavily there. So I'll leave you with the rest of the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and sub if you are interested in more content like this. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.
Control the hard point. We're in the lead. 